Well, welcome back to Paddy's Garden, and uh, we're in Greencastle, County Donegal. And today the lovely sun has come out. And from the last day, we were actually working here with uh, pea shoots. So these are the pea shoots here, and we eat those little shoots in the top. Lovely. And these are another set. So we're continuously planting at this time of year in the greenhouse, and you can take it into the house as well for pea shoots. So when they're up about this height here, they'll be ready for eating again. And these here will be finished. So we keep on sowing and planting, and that gives you a lovely taste of peas early in the season. So today we're going to actually look at seed sowing. And we're going to actually sow different types of seed and little tips on how to do it. So the first thing we're doing today is we're actually planting up a seed tray for sowing this beautiful plants here, lovely spring onions. And they're lovely red spring onions. And those there are a, an unusual uh, variety because they can actually produce little small onions as well. So you get a double whammy of it. So we're doing that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up the seed tray here with lovely compost. And this is organic compost here. And we're just filling it up, over filling it really, because we want to actually press it down. So we're just filling out all the area here. And then we press it down nice and tight into the module. I'll just do a little piece of this to show you how much pressing down we do. You see, as you press it down, it becomes nice and firm. So when you go to take out these little plants in the modules, they will actually hold together. So I'm just going to put some more compost in there like that. So we're just doing that, layering it off like that, and then pressing down with the hands. And you can feel the tightness coming up. They're lovely. So we'll just do a little bit of this to show you what we're doing. So there we go. So now we're just taking off the surplus and there comes a little look at the little individual modules in the seed tray. So there's that's right. So the next job now we're going to do, I will show you how we're doing it. We just take off the surplus, press it down, all over like that. And that just gives you a lovely firm base to work from. And now we're going to soak it in a tray of water so that it becomes very well moistened, ready for planting. So we'll do that now as well. So we'll just show you. There we go, look at that, and that's it there, ready for planting. So here we are again, just beside a little tray of water here, and that will soak up into the very top of this tray, so it'll be well watered, and that's very important. And remember, the water is in the greenhouse, so it's actually nice and warm compared to the outside temperatures. So we'll just put it in there to soak. Now that'll take probably maybe up to an hour soaking, right? So this is one over here we've done earlier, so I'll just pick it up. And we're going to sow a few seeds just to show you the technique of sowing seeds. So there it is there, moistened and all ready for planting. So we'll go back again to the table and we'll just get them, I get it set up. That's just there. Right. So here we are again now at the well-watered modular tray especially done for the job. And here we have in our hand this lovely here, beautiful um, spring onions. So we're going to actually put, believe it or not, up to 10 spring onions in each little module. And this is called multiple sowing. So the thing about that is that you put in the 12 and there are 10 to 12, depending on the size of your little module. And what happens, they all grow up together because they like being together, like most people. And the seeds are the same, they like to grow together. And what happens then, you pop out that little unit into the soil and you've already done 12 little spring onions. So we'll do that now. So it's roughly 12 or 10, 12, depending on the size of the module. So there we are there. We've got four or five. There we go. Seven, eight, nine, ten. That's them there. Right. So that's your lovely spring onions. So we'll just put them back carefully into the thing. We'll do the rest of them later. We're just showing you this. This is called multiple sowing. And spring onions are not take up much space, so when you put them into the, the garden, they'll be uh, roughly that apart, about six inches or 15 centimeters, I think it is. Yeah, so that apart. So that means then they'll actually come up as a bunch. And then we just cover those over very carefully, just to the depths of the seed, and press it down nice and firm on top. And remember, this is moistened compost again on top, and that's one that'll do the whole tree some other time. And the way you do the pressure down on it to make little indentations in this, it's almost like playing the piano. You just do that, lovely, and do that, and there you have a lovely form for dropping the seeds into. Right. So we do onions. Now, if we're doing onions in that, the onion bulb is much bigger. So you can put four, roughly four to five 
little seeds for onions. So they're a wee bit different. And the onions will all come up together in the, in the garden and push each other apart. So then you, you'll, you'll see that later on in the season, me doing this as well. So I'll be doing that then. So this is multiple sowing. And you can do them with things like beetroot, maybe three of beetroot because they're quite big seeds. And these are small seeds and the onions, roughly about five. And these here can be 10 for the spring onions. So it's all to do with the, sp the size of your little modular tray. So that's multiple sowing. So here we are with different containers for sowing seeds into. And this here is the old toilet roll one, which has got a lovely depth. And some plants actually like that, that depth of rooting. So things like peas, all the peas in the bean family. So there's the toilet roll and it's nicely filled up with compost as you see, and it's all moist. So they all go together just in case they fall apart during the seed process. So again, you make the little indentation and you plant the seed at depth down the height of the seed. So if your bean seed's that height, you actually double it, see? So that means it's down that deep, quite deep. So it's a little small seed, just a little covering, see? And some actually seeds don't need covering at all. So that's it. So here we have all sorts of different containers. There's an old polystyrene one, quite a big module. See individual little module there. So the, the, the plant itself will be a, quite a big plant, like a bean or something like that. And then if you're going for very small seeds, there's another container, a little modular thing again, for smaller little individual seeds as well. So there's lots of different things. And then this is a way of recycling newspaper. So there's a little newspaper pot, a little one like that. And you get these lovely formers made out of wood. So that's the way they do. And you wrap the newspaper around them. Then you fold it up at the bottom and then you place it down into the former like that and turn it around and it ends up as this. See? And you can actually do smaller ones as well. So there's a wee small former there. You see the way it is? Beautifully uh, made. And that actually does that so the children can actually use it and make all the pots they want from the different formers. So they're there. And another thing there is, is labels. And there's lots of labels out there. The wooden ones are the ones I use now because they actually biodegrade into rot away out of, the, out of the way. They're not like plastic. So all this plastic, as you see, are being superseded now by natural rubber for the modular trays and wood as well. So these are surplus from a greengrocer. So you can stack those up on top of each other. So that is actually using as many things as you can that will actually rot down into the soil. So when you take out the pea, you just put that into the soil, the whole lot. And then what you do is it'll all biodegrade into the soil, rot away. So the idea is to make it nice and moist when you're planting and plant the plant, that height, into the soil, down the depth into the soil. So there's 40 of them there, 40 toilet rolls. So each one of them would be two peas in each and deep down, and they would actually then go out into the soil without any disturbance at all. Isn't that amazing? Are you able to put them in the garden or in the polytunnel? Uh, you can do both, but usually uh, when they're ready now in the end of March, before they're ready, uh, into March and April, that'll be the time then. And you judge by the weather as well. If the weather is inclement, then you would actually uh, do wait a while. And the great thing about these, they can actually wait a while in the compost. So the reason you put them in the house is because that even temperature again, and they'll take a while to germinate, and then they'll take a while to grow. So the minute they start growing, you can put them out on the conservatory and give them a bit of light. So light is the big factor then. So I'll show you in the house what we do with the light then later on. This is a lovely seed store. So what it does is actually you press down and out comes one or as so many seeds you want. So it just takes that effort if your hands were wet or something. So we're just going to sow a little bit of seeds into this here. So we're just going to do along the side here. Here we go. And that, see that there? It just does a wee line. There we go. I'm putting a good few seeds in here because I want another wee bit of lettuce there, you see. So I don't know if you see them there or not. Mm -hmm. There One they are. Those grows into a lettuce. whole salad. A whole salad, a whole yeah. Lettuce. But I will be using, I'll be showing you the techniques of how to harvest from lettuce. So that there will be actually given, a lot of them will be given away to different people. And then we just cover it lightly then when we're finished. See, like this. And then we press down to make a nice contact there. And remember, a label is very important. And what's the name of this one here? It's Grandpa's Lettuce. This one. So that's done there. So there's the lovely. You had your labels ready in advance. Yeah. Oh, it was really important. You had well prepared. You need to be well prepared for your garden. 
And the thing is, preparation, the three things in gardening you need to know is preparation, preparation, and preparation. So I'll be putting them into modular trees, I guess, every individual little lettuce, you see. So that's them there, and I'll just do another two here. Well, you're so dedicated, obviously. It, uh, it works. It works well, yeah. nice food at the end of it. Oh, it's beautiful, yeah. And the variety is where it is. The variety in life is amazing. The different colors, the different textures, always well worth. So I'll put in a bit more sand there. It's a wee bit lacking in sand. So I'll put in a bit of sand and mix that up a little bit. So I'll just put a bit more in. So this is sharp river sand. It's not sea sand now. So the thing about it is just... What does sharp river mean? Sharp means that it actually makes... When you say sharp, it, it's like glass. When you do that, do you hear the sound? That's sharp sand. So it's not very fine sand, you see, and that lets the drainage, it lets the water away, but the compost actually holds on to water. So it's a real mixture of the two. So we're doing that. So we'll just do another two lines there. There we go. Mm -hmm. So the hand is almost like a piano playing all the time. It's lovely. You, you can use it. And if your hands are, are a, a, a bit sensitive, you can wear a glove, of course, as well. There's a lovely one for winter as well, Valdor. So again, we put on one there. So your labeling is very important when you just you want to be knowing what you like. So if you find something you like, go for it. So here we are, Valdor lettuce. So there they come again. So just a matter of tapping nice and gently. And there we go. Seems a lot. But every one of those is actually a lettuce plant. Amazing. So we're just going to put that over now. And remember, lettuce is one of those ones that doesn't like being surrounded by water. It lets the water to drain away. And there's another one. And you just don't want to wash them out of it. You just want to wash them in and make sure they're nice and moist. So there they go. So that again is now ready for taking into the house. So we're going to use the heat in the house to germinate them. And that's the most important thing, the first germination, right? So we'll take them into the house. And before that, we'll sing a song, I think. So we'll do inch by inch and row by row. Here we are, we're going to do a lovely song called The Garden Song. And it's inch by inch and row by row. Here we go. Inch by inch and row by row Gonna make this garden grow All it takes is a rake and a hoe And a piece of fertile ground Inch by inch and row by row Someone bless these seeds I sow Sun will warm them here below Till the rain comes tumbling down and Picking weeds and lifting stones Man is made of dreams and bones Feel the need to grow my own Cause the time is close at hand And grain for grain and sun and rain Find my way in nature's chain Tune my body and my brain To the music from the land And inch by inch and row by row Gonna make this garden grow All it takes is a rake and a hoe And a piece of fertile ground Inch by inch and row by row Someone bless these seeds I sow Sun will warm them here below Till the rain comes tumbling down And planting rows straight and long Temper them with prayer and song Mother Earth will make you strong If you give her love and care an old crow watching hungrily In his perch on yonder tree In my garden I'm as free As the feathered thief up there And inch by inch and row by row Gonna make this garden grow All it takes is a rake and a hoe And a piece of fertile ground Inch by inch and row by row 
someone bless these seeds I sow. Sun will warm them here below till the rain comes tumbling down. Till the rain comes tumbling down. Lovely. So here I am again, Kathleen, uh, with our lettuce, and we're going to put in the tray in the kitchen. And then remember the temperature is lovely even during the night, even in here, and even during the day and can get a bit warm. So this is lovely. So here is the little tray I made, and there's a reflective back on the tray when they come through as little babies. You'll get a bit of sunlight reflected back into the box. So we have nice moist compost, we've got lovely temperatures, we've got the seeds in there, lovely fresh seeds, and we've labels, we've all this. So now we're actually going to put it on the windowsill. So here we are. So we just take it out and look at this now. We're just putting it down very carefully into place here on the windowsill. So there we go. Beautiful. So there it is now, ready. And remember the sun's coming in here most of the day or light and then been reflected in this here later on. So you get a bit of heat. And there's a heater underneath here. That's my radiator. And of course we've got a bee keeping an eye on all the stuff. There's my bee, look. Aha. Mm -hmm. Very buzzy there. And look, we have a lovely snowdrop just to get that feeling of spring. So there it is there. Look, it's moving about. Mm. So there's a start, our first start. And when they come up, then we'll like actually transfer them probably out to the greenhouse again. Or you could actually leave them here for a few weeks, depending on the temperatures and the weather. Haven't you got the loveliest place to live? Patty? That's a beautiful spot. That's, no wonder you uh, sing yeah. and, you, and you do gardening. So that's so. my, uh, it's my grandfather's farm here. And we grew up here uh, as wee boys and we ra ran the fields. So there's a lovely song about it as well. We'll sing it the next time about mm -hmm. Carrie Hugh, where we live. So there are other plants you can put in now as well. It's like uh, cabbage and some of the salads like Mizuna and Rocket. And then uh, we can actually put into the hot press because these uh, other plants, that's like peppers and chilies. And uh, some of those can go in now into a hot press and in a, a little container and they can germinate in there because they actually need to germinate a light higher temperature. So usually into the end of February you can do that. So these are the little things you can do and get all your equipment together. It's very important, your compost and your seed trays and get the little labels going and fresh seed and that's it. It's, it's, it's magic. Oh, so these will be ready in a... Yeah, in about a month's time. A yeah. month's time we'll mm. be eating fresh salad. Ah, so it's oh, sort of looking garden. forward to coming back. Yeah. So in one month's time, these will be big enough to go into the polytunnel. Yeah, and outside if you want to, Catherine, if the weather is good, and you can then cover them with fleece outside, a kind of a material like a duvet, mm -hmm. and that can actually get them into the garden itself if the weather's right. And we'll be eating them yeah. soon after. Yeah, hopefully. Oh, that's mm. going to be great. Thank so you. Nice.